About 40 years ago, back in 1979, I went and lived in Japan for a year as a Rotary Exchange student. And I had the uh, chance then to experience a lot of food. I fell in love with a lot of Japanese food. One of the foods I did not fall in love with was natto, uh, fermented soybeans. But, you know, I was only, I think, 16 at the time. And my, my favorite condiment then was ketchup. And... I wasn't exactly known for my, um, well, let's say I was not known to be a gourmand, though I did fall in love with the food. But after trying natto, which is fermented soybeans and just really sticky and icky and kind of, ugh. Well, it's been 40 years. I thought I'd give it another try. Now, my friend Goro uh, believes that absolutely no foreigners that this is a strictly a Japanese acquired taste. But uh, I'm going to give it another shot after 40 years and see how it is. It took me a while to locate some. But uh, there's a place here in uh, Lake, uh, next to Tacoma called Lakewood that has a place called H Mart. And they've got delicious natto. So the best way to have it is simple and plain with... Uh, Maybe a little bit of soy sauce on, there's a little bit of soy sauce on this, and on some hot rice for breakfast. So this is my first meal of the day. And as you can tell, it's extremely stringy and sticky. Though this isn't the whole version, this is a, uh, uh, a minced version of the soybean. I was told that this could be uh, more palatable. So I'm going to get a nice half combination of uh, natto and rice here. And uh, let's see how this goes. You know, it's different. It's kind of, I'm certainly not put off by it. It's got almost like a, I don't want to say wood. There's so, almost like an essence of smoke, but it's not smoke. Mmm. There's something a little, there's a little bit of interesting flavor in there. You know, I bought six, six packets of this stuff, three in minced. And uh, three with whole beans, just so I could see which would be different. I'm wondering if I might... Uh, like the whole, I'm going to just try some of it by itself here. You know, I'm actually enjoying this a fa fairly amount. Goro, you are wrong. Foreigners can enjoy natto. Matter of fact, with my natto came this. It looks like a little packet of uh, hot mustard. I wonder how I'm going to see how that tastes on it try a little dab first mm. mix it up oh yeah mm. I keep lots of little strings. The hot mustard really accents it really nicely. The the part of it that tastes a little hollow and empty. Mm. The spices really filling that up. You know, I'm really kind of enjoying this. I'm wondering if uh, maybe a little bit of seaweed flake on this would 
Also be a nice company. There you go. It took me 40 years for my taste buds to come around, but not a fermented soybeans. I'm a fan.